And back to our top story, Mayor Lightfoot and Chicago Alderman face off after the year's deadliest weekend of criminal violence. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, joining us now with more on this ongoing crisis. Mike. Well, Anthony and Sally, the mayor ignored the rising chorus, calling her to account for not delivering yet on campaign promises to reduce violence. The mayor did promise new help for victims and others who've been grievously hurt by the violence. I can't imagine losing your child and then feeling like your pain and your suffering isn't heard, isn't reflected. And we've got to do more as a city. And I take on that responsibility and that obligation to make sure that we are programmatically reaching out and providing more support to the victims, the survivors, and the witnesses. And we will do that. Details to come in the days ahead, the mayor said. The, she and Police Superintendent Brown have been critical of others in the criminal justice system. State's attorney Kim Fox tweeted a reply late today. Finger pointing instead of talking honestly about the violence plaguing our city doesn't help bring solutions that make our community safer. It starts with apprehending those who pull the trigger. Police must make an arrest before a case reaches the courthouse door. A Southside alderman wants the Illinois National Guard to patrol downtown in the wake of this past weekend's unrest and violence there. We need to bring in the National Guard to secure the perimeter of downtown and, and uh, to work along with the police to free up more officers to come from downtown back into the communities where we can help you know, flood the communities where the resources have been taken out of. Asked about Alderman Beale's proposal, Mayor Lightfoot dismissed him as a critic who, quote, likes to grandstand, and she lamented that reporters even cover him at all. She added, quote, I don't have to say anything more about him. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.